Lugansk region. Swataway. Do you know what a unit loses combat effectiveness? It is when a unit suffers losses of 30% or more, both in personnel and equipment. Some time ago I told you about the fact that almost all units of Russian troops are incomplete. Virtually all of them. This is due to the fact that they are unable to perform full rotation and withdrawal to restore combat readiness. In the last month and a half, the return to combat readiness of the Russian troops in the combat zone has consisted solely of resupply of personnel, primarily new recruits without experience, and of replenishing forces on the spot. That is, there was no standard withdrawal of the broken units with the subsequent replacement of them with more fresh, fully staffed, and was simply filled with live meat. And all because the Russian army simply does not have any fresh and regular fully manned units. Thus, for the last month and a half the units in the combat zone that require restoration of combat readiness have been filled with minced meat of new recruits and were considered to be replenished, combat ready. But the consumption of minced meat in the category of recruit is very rapid and now, in the Svartov location, Russian troops have a difficult situation. Units of 55 Motorized Rifle Brigade and 3 Motorized Rifle Division have a loss of combat capability above 30%. And not even 40%, and a little higher. Well, let's just say some units are 60% non-operational in personnel and equipment. And all this should hold back the counter-attack of the Ukrainian armed forces in the direction of Swataway. And then there is winter on the horizon. Logistics, logistical support and other incomprehensible things are beyond everyday perception. I do not know how it will be in reality, but in my humble opinion by the end of 2022 there will be a cascading collapse of the occupation troops defense all the way to Starobysk. Further the Ukrainian troops will have to avoid entering the territories occupied since 2014, there is a probability that they will be jammed with the old positions from the south and the border from the north. Therefore, it is more likely that there will be a temporary halt on the Starobysk line with further destruction of the enemy's logistics. It is behind him that the occupiers are trying to create defensive positions. <laughs> yeah.